this short practice, we will focus on circulating the energy throughout the upper body to release tension in your neck and upper back. We will use Krama or segmented inhalation to build energy and create space around your heart. And we will reflect on what's most important to you right now to give meaning to your day. I'm Olga Cable, yoga teacher and yoga therapist. Let's begin. We will begin this practice in a standing position with your feet about hip distance apart. Make sure that you're stable and comfortable. And with the next inhalation, sweep your arms out and up, reach up high. And as you exhale, bring your palms together in front of your chest, centering yourself and grounding through your feet. Continue to move like that. So with every inhalation, sweep your arms out wide. Nice deep breath in. And as you exhale, bring your palms together in front of your chest. Center and anchor. Do this one more time with your breath, please. Take your time to inhale. And take your time to exhale. And whenever you finish with your current repetition, bring your arms down. Move your feet slightly wider apart. With the next exhalation, turn your pelvis to your right moving your upper body with it, and lift your left heel off the ground. On the inhale, return back to the center, both heels down, and on the exhale, turn your pelvis first, then your upper body to your left this time, and then lift your right heel off the ground. Continue to move like that, and let your arms swing along as you move to one side, and then the other side. Keep looking forward as you turn your body to your right, return to the center, and then turn your body to your left. Let your arms swing along. After you do an even number on both sides, return back to the center. Extend your thumbs forward while curling all the other fingers in, and point your thumbs forward with your arms by your sides. With the next inhalation, rotate your arms outwards so that the thumbs are pointing out. Lift your chin and your chest. And with the next exhalation, rotate your arms inward so that your thumbs are pointing back. And with that, relax your chin down, round your upper back a bit, and soften your knees slightly. With the next inhalation, reverse that. Rotate your arms outwards, lifting your chest and your chin. Stretch through the front of the body. And as you exhale, rotate your arms inwards as you round your back a bit, tuck the chin in, pull your belly in, and soften your knees. Continue to move like that, very subtle movements, rotating the arms outwards, stretching through the front of the body as you inhale, and rotating the arms all the way in as you round your upper back a bit and soften the knees as you exhale. With the next exhalation, go ahead and slide your hands down, place them over your thighs, and bend your knees a bit. Stay here in a slight squat with your hands resting on your thighs. With the next inhalation, lift your chest forward and up and lift your chin. And as you exhale, pull your belly in, round your back, and tuck your chin in. Continue to move like that in the standing cat and cow movement. Full deep breath in as you stretch through the front of the body. And then long, steady exhalation as you pull your belly in, rounding your upper back. Do this two more times on your own, please. And with every exhalation, think of directing the energy downwards, down toward your belly. And with the next inhalation, stand up. Bring your feet a little bit wider apart and move your arms out to the sides. With the next exhalation, turn to your right and bring your left hand to touch your right hand looking at it. And lift your left heel off the ground as you do it. On the inhale, return back to the center, arms out. And as you exhale, turn to your left, bringing your right hand to touch your left hand. And lift your right heel off the floor. Continue to move like that, turning from side to side with your breath. 
with every inhalation widening your chest, spreading out through your arms. And as you exhale, pulling the belly in. Focus on the sense of contraction and expansion, both in your chest and your upper back as you do this movement. With the next exhalation, when you turn to your right, go ahead and bring your left arm all the way around your torso. And with the inhalation, return to the starting position, arms out. And same on the other side, as you turn to your left, bring your right arm to wrap around your torso, about the level of your waist or so, and on the inhale, return back to the center. Continue to move like that, from side to side. Focus on the sense of contraction and expansion in your chest and upper back. And after you do an even number on both sides, return back to the center. With an next exhalation, squat slightly down, placing your hands on your knees. So keep your knees slightly bent, hinge slightly forward at your hips, and keep your spine long. Keep your head in line with the spine, and with the next exhalation, pull your right shoulder down while looking down. And on the inhale, return back into the neutral position. And as you exhale, pull your left shoulder down in the direction of the ground, creating a slight rotation in your torso. And on the inhale, return back to the center. Continue to move like that on your own. And continue to pay attention in the sensations in your chest and upper back as you do that. After you do an even number on both sides, with the next exhalation, slide your upper body down. Place your chest over your thighs, relax your neck and shoulders. Take a breath or two here. Press your feet firmly into the ground. And with the next inhalation, lead with the chest. Bring your arms out to the sides and stand up, reach up high. And with the exhalation, place your palms over each other on your chest and relax your chin down. This will be our starting position. With the next inhalation, bring your arms out to the sides, widening the chest and stretching outwards. And on the exhale, bring your hands back to your chest and tuck your chin in. On the inhale, do the same thing, but do it diagonally this time with your right arm coming up higher. And with the exhalation, bring your hands back down to your chest. Next time, raise your left arm higher than your right arm. And on the exhale, bring your hands to the chest again. Continue to move like that. So on the inhale, bring your arms outwards. And next time on the inhale, spread out diagonally. Widen your chest, reach out through your arms. Continue to move like that. Do this for one more cycle, please. And when you bring your right arm down and left arm up, stay here in the slight side bend. With the next exhalation, move your left hand towards your right hand and look down. Keep looking at your left hand as you extend it upwards and stretch up. And as you exhale again, move your left hand towards your right one, look down. And on the inhale, gradually slide your left arm up, stretch up through your arm and look up. Do this movement two more times, sliding your left hand up and down diagonally and following it with your gaze. Full deep breathing. Focus on expansion through your chest and your upper back. Next time when you raise your right arm up, with the exhalation, windmill your arms so that your left arm ends up lower than your right arm. On the inhale, stretch here. And as you exhale, bring your right hand toward your left one. Look down. On the inhale, extend your right arm up. Follow it with your gaze spread out. And as you exhale again, move your right hand toward your left one. Continue to move like that with your breath. Expanding your chest on the inhale. And expanding your upper back 
as you exhale. Continue to follow your right hand with your gaze. After you finish with your current repetition, come up into standing. Interlace your fingers in front of you. And with the next inhalation, raise both arms forward and up. Stretch upwards, even coming into a slight back bend. And with the exhalation, soften your knees, bend forward, and drop your arms forward, down, and back between your legs. Look down. On the inhale again, stand up, reach up tall, lengthen. And with the exhalation, soften your knees, hinge at your hips, and drop your arms forward, down, and back. Do this movement one more time, please. Standing up, reaching up high. And on the exhale, swaying your arms forward, down, and back. Stay here, take a deep breath. With the next exhalation, extend your legs best you can. And then from here, cross your arms behind you and reach for the opposite legs. It can be your ankles or your calves, wherever you can reach. Relax your neck. Round your upper back a bit. Stay here and breathe deeply. You can soften your knees a bit if you need to. With every inhalation, create some space in your upper middle back. Keep your neck relaxed. And as you exhale, see if you can bring your chest a bit closer toward your thighs. Take a couple more breaths like that. Steady, relaxed breathing, deep inhalation, long exhalation. And then place your hands on the floor, if you can reach, or you can elevate them on the block or even the chair. With the next inhalation, flatten your back and raise your arm, right arm out to the side. And with the exhalation, bend down, hands to the floor. On the inhale again, flatten your back and raise your left arm out to the side, widen the chest. And exhale, back down, soften your neck. Do this one more time to each side, please. With every inhalation, lengthening your spine as you raise one arm out to the side. And next time, when you lift halfway up, extend your right arm forward if possible. And on the exhale, bend down. With the inhalation, extend your left arm forward, lengthen your spine, reach forward with your fingertips, and then bend down. Do it one more time on each side, please, with your breath. And with the next inhalation, lift halfway up and raise your arms out to the sides, widen your chest. And with the exhalation, go back down, relax your neck. Do it one more time. Halfway lift, arms out to the sides, spread out. And as you exhale, move back down. With the next inhalation, lead with your chest. Bring your arms out to the sides and go all the way up. Reach up high, stretch. And with the exhalation, bring your arms out and down. Drop them down and relax your neck. Do it again on the inhale. Swing your arms out and up. Reach up high. And as you exhale, drop your arms out and down, round your back, slightly tuck your chin in. Do this one more time, please, softening the knees a bit as you do that. With the inhalation, raise your arms out to the sides and widen the chest, lengthen your spine. Exhale here, anchor through your feet. With the inhalation, raise your arms up a bit higher, maybe into a Y shape or so. Imagine yourself growing taller. And exhale here. On the inhale, raise your arms even higher, almost all the way up. Think of yourself growing taller, lengthening upwards. And exhale here. And with the next inhalation, reach all the way up, lengthen, lengthen, lengthen up. And with the exhalation, slowly bring your arms out and down. And place your palms together in front of your chest. Close your eyes. Take a breath or two here, centering yourself. And then gradually transition into a comfortable seated position of your choice. 
Rest your hands on your knees. Sit up tall. Relax your shoulders. Bring your attention to your breath. And see if you can sense the movement of your ribcage. Now begin to inhale and start to inflate the top part of your ribcage. Pause for a moment. Continue to inhale and expand the bottom part of your ribcage. Pause for a moment and finish your inhalation, expanding your belly. And then slowly deflate, deflating your belly first and then your ribcage. Continue to move like that, breaking the, your inhalation into three parts. Begin to inhale, inflating the top part of your ribcage. Pause for a moment. Continue to inhale, inflating the bottom part of the ribcage. Pause and finish your inhalation, expanding your belly and your back all around. And then nice, slow exhalation as you gradually deflate from the bottom to the top. Continue to breathe like that. Segmenting your inhalation into three parts. Making sure that you expand your torso all around from top to bottom. Make sure that you don't force this. Instead, let your breath breathe you. Think of filling up from the inside, softly, gently. Now continue to breathe deeply and comfortably. One long inhalation as you continue to expand your ribcage all around and your belly. And then deflating your belly and your chest as you exhale. Stay aware of the movement of your ribcage. And see if you can sense your heartbeat to feel the location of your heart within your ribcage. Or you can just imagine it deep inside. And once you get a sense of your heart or imagine it. Ask yourself, what is the most important thing for you today? It can be an activity or the way you approach that activity or your mental states or anything else. Something that's really, really relevant to you today. And try to feel the importance of that thing in your heart. As you continue to breathe, continue to hold that thing in your heart. And with every inhalation, create space around it. As if you're trying to create a buffer zone so that other insignificant things don't interfere. And with the exhalation, let go of the effort. Soften. Continue to breathe like that. Holding that one important thing in your heart. And 
protecting it from other unimportant things that might get in the way. a couple more steady, comfortable breaths like that. With the next inhalation, sweep your arms out and up, reach up high, stretch. And as you exhale, bring your palms together in front of your chest. Rest your thumbs against your chest so that you can feel the connection between your hands and your chest. Take a couple more breaths, staying aware of your hands and your heart. And thank you for joining me today. Have a wonderful, meaningful day. Namaste.